Hi everyone, I'm Kiki. In today's video, I want to do another Hermes unboxing. This time from my uh, weekend shopping trip to Hermes. I went there just this past Sunday and picked up a few goodies. I'm going to do this one in a separate video than the rest of the items I got, just so I can give you guys more of a 4K kind of close up of the item I got because I know it's a very popular item. And I wonder what it is. For those of you who know Hermes, can probably already guess by the size of this box. Any guesses? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a small hint. Here is a sh very short clip of a pair of shoes that I was going to get, but ended up not getting because my husband strongly vetoed against it. I mean, he doesn't like half of the stuff I get anyway, but he was like, no, not that, so. <laughs> Do 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 do. Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do do. Ding ding. Ta-da! So as you all may have already guessed, I got another pair of Oran sandals. Actually, only my second pair. Um, I have another pair in the white. Honestly, if you're thinking of getting a pair, I think right now is the best time for sandals while there's still lots of sizes available. While I don't love the Oron for the comfort because I have pretty tricky feet um, and because Orons are so flat, they are not the most comfortable. But having said that, I do really love the style and uh, for short walking trips or shopping, they're pretty good, but just not, I think, for really long excursions let's say you are traveling around and exploring a city and you're doing a lot of walking then i would say they're probably not the best most ergonomical shoe but if you're just lounging around then they're amazing and i have bunions on my feet i hate my feet honestly um and i find that because of the shape of the h they're actually super comfortable uh, i don't know if that's tmi or if that's helpful for you but i find them yeah really nice for that reason in my opinion, I think gold is the perfect neutral. What do you guys think? Neutrals or a pop of color? Ding ding! I'm trying this new thing where I'm taking closer up, very detailed kind of 4K shots of the items I'm unboxing just for you guys to enjoy as well as if you're thinking of getting the item. I personally find that really helpful when I watch videos or when I'm searching and researching a item that I want to get or in thinking of getting. So let me know if that's really helpful for you or if there are any um, recommendations or helpful suggestions that you may have. I'd love to hear them. Also, if you are watching just when this video drops, YouTube may not have rendered it in 4K yet. I find that it takes, it depends on the day, but sometimes it could take a few hours. So if that's the case, thank you very much for walking, watching it so quickly. But also please uh, do come back and check it again to make sure that you're watching it in the highest quality if that's important to you. My Hermes sizing is usually a size 37 for loafers. Um, but this Oran I got on 37 and a half and I find it fits perfectly. The 37 was just a smidge too short in my opinion. My essay thought it was fine, but I, I thought that the 37 and a half would just be uh, a little better for me personally. I had previously many years ago bought a pair of, I think they're called the Trocadero. I can't really pronounce it and I don't really remember the name, but they're like the Paris loafers, but sl the slide version. I had gotten those in a size 38 and honestly, at the time I thought they were perfect. But now I realize the reason I don't reach for them that much is because they're a little bit too big, the size 38. And if I had just gone a smidge smaller, maybe a 37 and a half or a 37, I would probably wear those more often. Now I am nowhere close to being a shoe or leather um, otaku or like connoisseur, but I've watched enough of these shoe videos with my husband because he's a bit of, bit of that. And I believe these are nails. And I think according to one of the YouTubers that we watch, that makes that means it's better quality, right? That they've nailed the shoe in and it's not just glue. I believe it's, see, I'm going really close in for you guys to see. I believe it is a nail. Let me know if that's true because I honestly have no idea. I'm just basing this off the few videos that I've watched with my husband. Now, by no means am I claiming that Hermes has the best shoe quality or anything like that. I simply am not an expert in that area, but I do think that the price of the shoe is reasonable within the world of high luxury. 
I think that the quality has stayed consistent and the price has not risen as much as other brands have done so in recent years. I believe the Oran sandal actually has stayed the same price in the last few years, correct me if I'm wrong. So what do you guys think of my latest Hermes purchase? What do you guys think of Orans? Are they amazing, classic, timeless, or perhaps do you find them overhyped, overpriced? I'd love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions for new videos, please let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Janet. Ding ding. Do 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye bye.